Welcome to this video, a new part in the series about tactics and calculation. Yeah, this time we're going to um, look at one particular position and uh, one that really requires some, um, yeah, some some good calculation and imagination to really find the solution. Um, the position arises relatively early in a game. So I'm going to go through the moves. It's about it's a game between the Armenian Grandmaster Gabriel Sagisian and uh, now world number two Fabiano Caruana. The game is from 2009, so five years old back then. Caruana was um, let me quickly calculate 17 years old, still um, already very strong. But at the time, it was a pretty even matchup in terms of rating. Yeah, Caruana played the Benko Gambit. <laughs> Probably not an opening that he would uh, venture nowadays in the super top level events. But back then, this game was played in the European Club Cup. And uh, there you won fighting openings quite often. So we got a pretty normal line here in the Benko. Or this has been seen a number of times. White has made this artificial castling, gotten a rook to e1, and um, he very often will play e4, e5 if given the chance. In fact, he does that now, a very early breakthrough in the center. Yeah, um, this kind of breakthroughs um, do happen frequently, and um, it's a question if it um, it leads to <clears throat> if it leads to much for white. It's certainly very early pressure against the seven pawn, but on the other hand, there are also some implications going on, and sometimes black gets play on the diagonal. Yeah, black plays rook b7, queen e2, yeah, attacking this, queen b6. Yeah, if white now decides to to take on e7, black takes. Queen takes and rook e8. That's embarrassing. Queen has no squares. So you cannot take e7. He went a4. Yeah, this is um, a dual purpose move. It gets a square on b5. Sometimes you can jump there with a knight. But it also provides um, the a pawn <laughs> with some 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 head start to to maybe promote later yeah black went king f8 covering e7 rook a3 and in this position now caruana played the move knight e8 attacking the rook yeah the rook now does not have uh, many options it went back to e3 we now reach the the critical position of this game Karana now played a move that turned out to be a mistake. He played the move bishop to h6. Certainly thinking about asking white, what are you going to do on this diagonal? Yeah, in fact, in this position, white now has a very effective continuation. And um, I guess many of you want to really treat this as a puzzle so i just suggest that you pause the video i'm also going to get rid of the arrows going to that you're going to pause the video and uh, look for yourself i'm going to show you the solution in a couple of seconds this is one of those combinations that um, comes a bit like a boat from the blue it's uh, almost, let's say, <laughs> bold from the blue because there are some things that you can recognize that are a little bit off about black's position. For example, the king on f8 that uh, needs to defend the e7 weakness. The knight is not super well placed on e8. And the most um, important thing is that bishop h6 has exposed this bishop a bit. This bishop is not protected. However, it is still very surprising, at least to me, um, that white already has an absolutely killing combination available here. The Gisia now played the amazing start 
or the start of this amazing sequence with rook to e6. Congrats if you have uh, found the general idea. It's even better if you have found the the point of it because it's really a very 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 deep move yeah the queen is attacked and the bishop is attacked with check so the only critical reply is to really take the rook white captures on h6 with check, check. this was clear how does it continue after knight g7 blocking this check White has the strong reply, queen to e5, which will win the knight with a killing attack. It's not just getting material back, the attack will be overwhelming. Yeah, in the game, the black player went to g8. That's the toughest defense. And now comes the amazing point of the whole sequence. It's very likely that um, many players will come in their calculations to this point and then they will probably um, yeah, look a bit further, maybe consider stuff like that, threatening mate, yeah, where knight f6 is possible. Or they might consider, yeah, most like, yeah, queen e5, but that's not threatening mate, the knight on e8 is covering the whole combination only works due to the fact that white now has the next uh, hammer blow he can now play rook b3 and this is just absolutely beautiful he puts this weird rook on a3 on pre and this really means that both white rooks are set uh, are sacrificed yeah yeah black um, after this move resigned yeah but why if black takes white captures on a6 king h8 and now queen f7. That's just brilliant. Queen f8 is the mating threat. Based on the fact that this knight has such an unlucky position. Yeah, and of course knight g7. Checkmate. We just take and mate him. Great. So black cannot take the rook. Yeah, but what should he play? Yeah, let's say um, you play queen a6. Then white just trades and takes here. White is a piece up. Queen a6, not possible. And there's really no good square. If you go here, white will just take the rook. And he now is a, is a piece up again. And he has an ongoing attack. So a fantastic combination here by Sargisian, which I really think is not easy to spot, simply because you um, might not expect such a decisive turn of events. While black's position might look uh, slightly awkward, you um, probably don't um, believe you can punish it so severely, but rook e6 is really a fantastic way to refute black's play. Takes, bishop yeah. takes, and after king f7, by the way, there's also queen b3. Here, after queen takes b3, Checkmate. we have an immediate mate. So a great combination here, played by one of Armenia's top players, Gabriel Sargisian. Um, nowadays also well known as a second to Levon Aronian, by the way. All right, I hope you enjoyed this uh, great combination and maybe you found the solution. If you did, with everything rook b3, then very much congrats to you. Very, very difficult to find. Thanks for watching.